for this video is I want to share how we can control 12 volt NEMA 17 which is stepper motor and we're going to use for ESP32 which is microcontroller and Bluetooth building and Wi-Fi building but we're not going to use the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi we're just going to use to control very simple way and we're going to use a stepper motor driver which is a 4988 which is up to 2 ampere current so we're going to use this stepper driver and all this side is uh, for so if you see from behind this is much more easier that we can see all the level here and v mot which is the input for the 12 volt so this v mot is 12 volt input and this is 12 volt positive 12 volt negative and uh, here is stepper motor bipolar stepper motor so stepper motor 2b 2a 1a 1b and vdd is we're gonna supply a 3.3 volt from esp32 to a vdd here and the ground from esp32 and here there's a step and direction and here slip and reset and this is micro step one micro step two micro step three right and here's the end of a pin so we're not going to use a wi-fi or the bluetooth we're just going to control by the simple way just like the arduino so this motor driver we control it's not only for this name of 70 you can control any stepper motor but this we handle up to only two ampere all right so here esp32 so make sure that which model you are using because this is very important once you upload the code and you need to follow your esp32 model uh, so i'm using esp32 dev key v1 and here i'm going to apply to breadboard so esp32 is not friendly to the breadboard because once we plug in here this side already full here and so anyway we just plug this side is full and we're not going to use any of this pin here we're going to use from here so we still have left one pin to slot here right here and here we just slot into this position and so here i'm going to put this stepper motor driver from this side All right, so just make sure you plug in properly and of course you're going to use for jumper wire so here from ESP32 3.3V is we take the power 3.3V to make it power up for this A4988 so 3.3V we connect to a VDD a VDD here and from here a digital pin number 18 we're going to use digital pin number 18 here make sure you connect the correct digital pin digital pin number 18 here and 18 we connect to a step so step here and digital pin number 19 from ESP we connect to a DR which is for direction and digital pin number 21 21 we connect to EN which is for N number pin this optional so and yeah we not going to forget this it's very important the ground from ESP32 the ground we connect to the ground of stepper driver here right so all the connection is complete and we're going to upload the code So ESP bot is already power on. 
all right before we upload the code we just connect all completely and here's stepper model i'm going to use this that jumper pin so that's a very easier way to connect here so from here respectively you just connect from here and all together here all right so it's very simple and here we left two wire two two pins here and here we left two pin which is for v vcc to make it 12 volt plus power in and the ground is 12 volt negative 12 volt plus 12 volt positive and negative and to make it easier to start the model we're going to use a 100 microfarad 25 volt capacitor and make sure that you put positive and negative so this side is negative and this side is positive so positive we goes to positive negative we goes to negative and this is to make it start to step a model and when we use here which is 12 volt power supply it's 12 volt and a 3 ampere and it's not necessary you use 3 ampere you can use even 1 ampere we enough to run the motor so i'm not going to power first we just stand by everything's here i'm not going to apply in here right this the power right now is the switch is off so let's uh, write the code and upload the code to esp32 so make sure that once you upload the esp32 you need to press this boot button and only your upload code will be complete code is already done upload and we can power on for 12 volt I'm going to power on the main switch all right so I already power on and the stepper motor is not moved because I haven't pressed enable button from ESP32 so I press right here so stepper is not moved so I must check it by my connection so uh, digital pin number 18 we connect to step oh that is mystically applying here all right that's correct so now the stepper is work so this is very important sometimes we wrongly connect the jumper wire to the module and the microcontroller so all right i hope you understand all right so here's my stepper model so is uh, the top is quite strong so you can carry any heavy things And you don't touch this power supply because the input is 240 volt AC and output is 12 volt so you cannot touch this part so the best thing is you not ever touch with your hand this board and this is not really safe all right so i hope uh, this video will help for someone and thank you for watching my video